inside the jobbing.com arena where a large contingent of Chicago fans will be part of a sellout crowd this evening. And in this rink, the Yotes are 9 1 and 2. We told you about 24 year old Antti Ranta, who picked up a victory in his first career start with 20 saves in Calgary a couple of games ago on this road trip. He'll be opposed by a guy many feel will be part of Team Canada when the Olympics come around, 31 year old Mike Smith. His 12 wins are seventh best in the league. Their last game, he didn't play. That was his first night off in a month. So he's been a workhorse here in Phoenix. And the faceoff is in play. We're underway. And the first period of Blackhawk Hockey is brought to you by Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Honda Dealers. Stone for Phoenix. His pass deflecting. And now the Yotes try to reorganize. Ekman Larson goes rink wide. Bodker with a pass up the middle that's picked off by Taves. Mitchell so get it in and most head for a change, but now Stone the other way. And on his third attempt, he bangs it deep. Here's Seabrook for Chicago. Chipped it ahead, Bowling with a long wrist shot that's blocked by Derek Morris, and now the whistle goes. A little time now for our Hyundai What to Look For, and such a point of emphasis, Pat, you mentioned a Mike Smith. Hawks got to keep the puck away from Mike Smith when they shoot the puck in, so good shoot-ins, good opportunities to get the puck back when you dump the puck in, and we talked a lot about it, Pat. Three games in four nights, seventh game of the road trip, Short shifts up and down and off the ice. A point of emphasis for Coach Q and his team here tonight. All right now, Taves is joined by Shaw and Kane for this shift and a penalty on the uh, Coyotes' Chip Chura. Or was it too many men penalty? I wonder why the linesman stopped the play and uh, the Hawks get an early. Power play, 49 seconds in. Here's Keith with a long tunnel. That just hit Smith. I think Shaw got a piece with a redirect. And Smith able to uh, stay in the way. Now Taze. The Hawks power play, two out of 14 on the trip so far. Kane takes a look. Back door is Taze. And he shot it right into Smith. Rebound deflected just outside the post from Shaw. Penalty coming up to the Coyotes again, it looks like. And now the Hawks may have a two-man advantage. Yes, they will. Derek Morris is going to be sent off. A 95-second two-man advantage. Well, a couple of great looks on the power play. Right off the point, right off the faceoff way, and Duncan Keith will shoot the puck towards and then redirected by Andrew Shaw. And then what a pass. The opportunity from Patrick Kane over to Jonathan Taves. And Morris tag for the hold, so an extended two-man advantage here for the visitors. As Keith will put it on the stick of Kane. He'll ring it around. Hosa working at a point along with Keith. They get Taves to the front of the net. Here's Hosa playing catch with Keith. Sharp is covered. Put it back to Keith. He'll go to Hosa with a one timer. That's blocked out in front. Nice play by Stone. Puck bouncing away from Hosa. And the Yotes get it out. A minute of a two man advantage time remaining. Now Sharp will get things set back up. Patrick Sharp. Keith to Hosa to Kane. He tried to center, never connected with Taves. Hosa starting back. Sharp chipped it in for Hosa. Not beaten to it in the corner by Connor Murphy, and Keith kept it in. Now Kane's got it. 20 seconds for the two man. Here's Hosa's one time. He scores! Some of the ball at top of the circle, and the Hawks have a two-man advantage. Grab the lead. 
And Marion Hosen on the last seven games he has participated in has scored five goals. What a reception pack by Duncan Keith. Near the top of the leaders in assists in the National Hockey League. Add another. Watch this pickup. Patrick Kane throws it to his backhand, sets the table. And I'm not sure if that ended up going off David Schlepko or not. But Kane to Keith. Great reception by Duncan Keith. And Big Haas one times that puck. Huge opportunity there. Five on three. And the Hawks take advantage. There's still a one-man power play for another 40. And inside. Chips it deep for a match checked by Shaw. Buck jumped high to the air. Smith didn't know where it had gone. It came right back into the blue paint. And Smith with his arms extended up into the air, yelling at the official as if he thought it might have hit the netting in behind. But we play on. Here's Saad. Gets it inside. Now spins it back to Letty. Nick Letty with a long shot blocked by Hansel. Who broke his stick with a block. The puck is held in the offensive zone by Shaw. Put it across to Jalmerson. Now the second Phoenix penalty over both teams full strength. Hansel able to clear the Phoenix zone. Jalmerson for Kruger tapping it in there. Keith Yandel stripped of it. Good play, Smith. Ben Smith spins in behind. Well, they battle along the boards and finally Yandel jammed it loose. Hansel forced to turn. Stone flipped it up the wall and now the Coyotes have to turn back again as Hawks have the passing lanes all jammed up. Now Brandon Bullock. Here's a turnover in front. Smith and a big save by Smith. Mike Smith beat Ben Smith there. Now Yandel to the other end. Threw it into the corner for Doan. He's checked. Cleared along the boards of Morris. His long shot tipped just wide by Doan. Another long attempt is blocked by Ben Smith. And he's able to lift it, but it doesn't get out. Lemko put it into the corner. Pass out in front for Moss, who took a whack. Bounce to Schlemko. Morris wants it. He's got it. Fires it on. Shot tip. And a redirect from Moss was up and out of play. Oh, the referee didn't know that it left the rink, but the whistle does go. Well, we're going to go back and take another look at this goal, and we got a great pickup here. Right part of your screen. Here comes Patrick Kane. I thought it went off of Schlemko. It ended up going off the stick of Patrick Kane, who started that playoff. Patrick Kane streak stopped at 12 as far as scoring consecutively last night in Dallas has started another streak but that will be his 16th goal of the year right near the NHL lead there are only two guys ahead of him when he entered play tonight at 15 Most of all, pass out of play. And uh, we better point out the uh, officiating crew tonight. The referees are Mike Hassenfrass along with Mike Lego. The linesmen are Darren Gibbs and Lonnie Cameron. And now Morris. Here it is to center, and Kennedy sends it in. Verbata threw it into the other corner. Hands all checked by Jalmerson. The Coyotes look to dig it out. Kennedy's pass hit a skate, and then captured by Hosa to Sharp. Patrick Sharp going wide. Has it do you right with him. Here's the blast. Good save, Smith. Rebound. Just escaping Hosa, who was at a tough angle. Into the corner it goes, and... Well, the Coyotes, Kennedy trying to get things settled down. They will put it on the stick of Morris. His long one steered away by Runta. On 
Zeus left it for Kane. Patrick Kane going wide. Got away from a check. Kane center. Here's a touch on Owen. Both Saad and Hans Zeus got a piece of that puck. And it was deflected just outside the far post. Nice little move there by Kane to give himself that spacing along those left wing boards. Now Seabrook going to bank it out of the zone and did. And the Coyotes don't put it to Moss. His long one is kicked aside by Ranta. Jane Doan for David Moss. He could not pick it up on the boards. And the Hawks able to get it up. Might be a two-on-one. Peary's got it. Brandon Peary cutting in. He shoots. And a save by Smith. Rebound cleared out of there. Nice play by Chris Versteeg to get that puck to Brandon Peary for that two-on-one. Brandon Peary should be excited to get into a game against the Phoenix Coyotes when these teams played in the United Center a couple of weeks ago. The Hawks were trailing early in the third. It was Brandon Peary who had a redirect for the game-tying goal. And then when it went to a shootout, he got the decisive goal in the extra time. Bowling's long one is cleared away by Smith. And then Bowling now with a wraparound. Smith able to stop that at the far post. Right, Bowler picks up his head, Patty, and Ben Smith wide open right in that slot area. Chip Shura needs help from Halpern. He, with help, got it out of there. And the Hawks changing on the go here while they keep possession of it. Oh, do you? The Hosa. Now Sharp. Patrick Sharp trying to center out of the reach of Taze. And the Coyotes able to get it out. Taves sends it to the Phoenix line. Sharp had it knocked away to center. And the Coyotes, Beckman Larson sends it in. For a match check by Rosaball. Bonker's in behind. He couldn't reach it. And inside. Rolled it loose. It did not get out. Here's Letty. Coyotes are peeling off to change, and now Kane gets back into the offensive zone. Nice move around one man, tried to center. Hanzus missed it, and Saad couldn't get it settled down. Verbata the other way. Or Morris. Eric Morris. Rolled into Radim Verbata, put it in deep. Hansus with some time to take a look. Good backhand pass right there for Brandon Saad. He's going to drop to Oduya, lets it go. Soaked up by Mike Smith. Nine minutes have been played here in Phoenix, and the Blackhawks making good on an early two-man advantage with a Patrick Kane redirect to put themselves in front. Well, time now for our Geico quote. Comes from the head coach of the Phoenix Coyotes, Dave Tippett. We know we have to get back to playing a really tight defending game. Our offense has been very good. That hasn't been an issue, but we have to defend better. And hopefully, last Wednesday, a win over Minnesota was a step in that direction. Three straight games, Pat. Phoenix Coyotes have given up 30 shots or less in three straight games. And when you do that, things are going to good are going to happen for you. Especially when you got a solid goalie there. And that, I think the game in Chicago a couple of weeks ago, where the Coyotes wound up losing in a shootout, they really were held in it by Mike Smith. The Hawks had 52 shots that night. Here's Keith across for Seabrook. His long one puck was on edge, was a knuckler, but hit a skate out in front. Now Hackert with the score! A battle goal scored by Andrew Shaw. As the initial stop was made, and he was just able to push it forward slowly, and somehow it eluded Smith. 2-0 Chicago. Well, the shot by Brent Seabrook, Pat, was stopped in front, and the Hawks were able to stay with it. And Andrew Shaw, as he was falling to the ice, I believe, gets knocked over and finds his puck 
great things happen. Good pressure there from Brandon Peary. Chris Versteeg is out there, and then there you see the puck just sliding past the pad, and Mike Smith didn't kick that right pad out. He tried to grab it with his blocker, and it finds his way to the back of the net. Race for icing, host is hustling, he saved the whistle. And now the county's able to get back. Ribeiro, good six Seabrook. Mike Ribeiro looks to center, but hit the back of the net. A long flip shot went wide off a block. And Sharp able to get it to Taves, then Hosa. Barry and Hosa crisscrossing in there, was taken away Ribeiro. Now Oduya put it to Jalmerson. Oduya lost it at center. Clink hammer on the counter attack, cutting in, tried to center it, broken up. Jalmerson. And now held in by Slemko, put it in behind. Bodker. And a try it loose for the Coyotes. Morris fires a long shot, never got to the net. A centering attempt deflected wide for Murphy. Jalmerson with that block. Off to see that a night, partner. Boy, <laughs> no kid, man. Yeah. Now Rosaball, who rejoins on it. He's not played in two of the last three games on this trip, but gets the finale here this evening. Rosaball got it to Letty. Nick Letty got away from Connor Murphy, tried to center that pass, picked off. But held in by Saad. Anzu's down low. Helped by Kane. In front, Jalmerson, a shot, scores! Nick Jalmerson powered it by the stick side of Smith. But what a setup by Patrick Kane out of the corner. A perfect pass. Jalmerson finished 3-0. Well, you would have to think that Dave Tippett is going to call a timeout to slow this game down for his team because right now it's all Blackhawks. You talk about the great pass, Pat, but how about the recognition of Nicholas Jalmerson to walk into this area here? His man is here. Watch what ends up happening. That's Tim Kennedy. Watch. Jalmerson finds a hole, gets wide open, skate left, shoot back. Another, another puck pat over the right pad of Mike Smith. Beautiful shot. Great pass, as you mentioned, from Patrick Kane. And it's 3-0 just over halfway through this first period. Right now the uh, draw picked up by Letty. Will bounce it back the other way, Kruger. In for Bowling. Ben Smith in behind with a wraparound. Mike Smith stopped it. And the rebound to the home team. Here comes the captain, Shane Doan. Left it for David Moss. And how about this? We've played 12 minutes of the game. The Coyotes have been credited with three shots on goal so far. Ekman Larson, a neat move in deep. Center one, Ribeiro. His shot was blocked. That's part of the reason. The, here's the Bodger moving in. His shot missed the net. Ekman Larson takes a look. Whipped on a pass, but Smith is without a stick. Able to kick it loose. Nice play, Ben Smith. And Roosevelt will be able to get it in there. Look this in it, yelling at Brandon Bullock as he skated off the ice there. Pat, something to keep an eye on. Tough guy for the game. Yeah, Paul Bissonette is certainly going to be looking to uh, change the momentum in this game. And if you're Brandon Bullock, why engage? No need. A battle for it in behind. Flink hammer. Taken away by Peary. Now Keith to a wide open Peary. Oops. Double. Oops. <laughs> Boy, Mike Smith almost missed that one. Went right in the net. Took his eye off it, hit his glove, and went right over the top of the net. Now Oduya. Well, his pass broken up. 
Coyotes get in. Hansel looking to drive the goal. Hansel slipped to the front, broken up front. Oh, what a save, Runta! He made the block in the initial pass and went right to Radim Bramada, their leading scorer. And Runta made a huge stop as the Hawks maintain a three goal lead. Well, one goal, two is the inside story. The 2013 Stanley Cup champion Blackhawks. The 240-page hardcover book chronicles the Blackhawks' dream season from the streak to the Stanley Cup to the banner raising. Plus, each book includes Blackhawk TV's championship DVD, 17 seconds. For more information, visit chicagoblackhawks.com. Hayes wins a defensive zone draw. So it's cleared to center. Runco fires it back into Chicago territory. Oh, do you there? And it's sent back the other way. Lemko looks towards Hansel. Backhands it. It didn't get out initially. Lemko following up. Now Hansel in against Oduya. Dug out of there by Kennedy. Sends it back Ekman Larson. His long wrister bounced wide. And Hosa had it taken away for Bada. Ekman Larson to Stone. His shot attempt deflected to the corner. And now Hansus. Able to get it to Oduya. It's a good shoot in there, Pat, by Oduya. The end of a long shift. Keep it in the glass. Keep it away from the goalie. Now Kane. Rolled it to Seabrook. Cuts towards the middle. Put it back to Keith. He lets it go. Smith got a tiny piece. Rebound Ekman Larson. His pass bounced up into the air to center. Already a goal and an assist in the game for Patrick Kane. Now here comes Saad into the zone. And then Saad pulls up. Missed Seabrook for the pass, though. Also spin back, trying to get a change completed while they keep control of it. Murphy broke up a pass attempt, and... Halpern rolled it to Bissonnette. Bissonnette and Bullock on the ice together. Keep an eye on this. You made the point, Pat. Turnover to Murphy. Let's it go. Ronto well out. He's five feet outside the crease to make that save. And Bissonnette wants Bullock. But Brandon Bullock wisely just holds his ground. He doesn't need it now. There's no reason for the Blackhawks player to allow a Phoenix guy to try to change the momentum. Because the Blackhawks have a three-goal lead late in the first. Goal Tuesday, the circus trip is finally over as the Hawks can head back to the United Center. Don't miss the Hawks digging on the Dallas Stars. Coverage begins at 6.30 with Chevy. That's Chevy. Blackhawks pregame live. My Comcast Sports Center. We'll look at a face off to his left. And the draw is taken by Jalmerson. Hawks uh, changing on the goal. They did this quite a bit in Dallas, and Eddie, in the last couple of years, as we've talked about, it's not that often that Joe Quinville will uh, change on the fly after not liking a matchup, but last couple of games, uh, it has shown up once in a while. Andrew Shaw goes down here. And uh, referee Hassan has a penalty. Yeah, it's going to be on Jeff Halpern. I was actually seeing, Pat, if he was going to maybe make two calls there. He gets hooked up and stick goes and tumbles all the way across. So right call made. And the Hawks with a huge opportunity here, Pat, to go up by four goals. 
You want to become a shooting power play. You don't want to try to make those cute plays. If you think about the pucks that have gone in, Pat, he's fighting it right now, Mike Smith. Oh, so shoot that puck anytime you get a chance. Sharp to Keith. Again, Shaw right to the front of the net. Here's a long shot by Keith going wide. It bounced to Sharp, and it was rolling around when he got it. Couldn't get anything on it. And Smith didn't seem to be able to locate that initial shot anyway. He is really fighting it, Mike Smith. Here's Kane teeing it up for the hot pass. Too hot to handle. Sharp takes over. Keith to Kane. Sharp going back door. There's the pass. Here's the shot. He missed the net. Rebound held in by Kane. Now Taves to Kane. He was checked as the puck arrived. Keith's got it now. 70 for the power play. Kane. Dropped it to Keith with a blast. Hit some traffic out in front. Patrick Sharp's got it. With Smith and Shaw going at it in front of the net. Now here's Sharp to Taves. And Shaw got it to Kane. All the way over to Sharp, then Keith. Keith for, Ta for uh, Sharp, the pass is behind him, and that allows the Coyotes to get it out. And a catch minute change, though. They rule Kane, though, offside. So the whistle goes. We'll remind you as you enjoy a cold one. Look forward to Miller time later in the game tonight. Brought to you by Miller Lite. A couple of good looks. I don't think there's any doubt, Pat. They have the Coyotes on the run, and the thought process is one thing. Lane is there. Get the puck to the net. No hesitation at all. And you're right, Pat, that first shot that came from Duncan Keith. Mike Smith was still looking at Duncan Keith after yeah. the puck had gone by him. You got to go to school on that if you're a Blackhawk player sitting on the bench. You know the coaches are, and they'll certainly remind the players in between the first and second period. And inside to Brent Seabrook going wide. Host of the net. There's the pass. Didn't quite connect. Rebound to the corner for Stieg. Good stick by Stone. And now it bounced to Bodker. Hansel. And he'll clear it back the other way. Marion Hosa. Put it into the corner. Chris for Stieg. Checked by Ribeiro. Puck corral by the Coyotes. Here's Halper just out of the box. So both teams. Are at full strength. David Moss had it knocked away. Now Rivero dropped it out. Murphy gets in his third NHL game. Connor Murphy. Here to two Rivero. Murphy kicks it a stick with a shot and a save by Ranta. Taken by Yandel. But it's a Murphy. Lines up in behind with Moss. He's checked. Hawks take it away, then nearly give it away. Doan put it into the corner. Moss rings it around. And Hosa manages to get it out of there. Even though Phoenix had the puck for a good stretch there, really only one good opportunity from the middle of the ice. Everything else was to the outside. The Blackhawks certainly won't mind that at all. If you're the Coyotes, you got to get to the middle of the ice a little bit more, especially now playing from behind. Well, do you up the board to an open side? Final minute of the first period, Sod looking to drive, but Stone able to stay with him. Ekman Larson was high off the glass to get this out. Jalmerson to Kane. Half a minute left. Patrick Kane able to squeeze for a couple of checkers. But it's jammed off his stick to Hansel. Bearing to Ekman Larson. Seabrook there to meet him as he got into the zone. And now Seabrook for Saad, who cleared it to center five seconds. Shaw dumped it in. And Derek Morris will have the first period come to an end.
Well, what a set of circumstances we talked about before the game. A back-to-back -back set of games. You're on the road for two weeks. You get into the hotel at 3 in the morning, and look at this. The Hawks outshoot the Coyotes 15-7 to in the opening period. A two-man advantage power play goal from Kane, followed by Shaw, and then Chalmerson. And the Hawks up three, 20 minutes in. This period of Blackhawks hockey was brought to you by your Chicagoland and Northwest Indiana Honda dealers. Proud sponsors of Blackhawk hockey on Comcast Sportsnet. Blackhawks hockey on Comcast Sportsnet is brought to you in part by Hyundai. Save big at Hyundai's Black Friday Everyday Sales Event going on now through December 2nd. BMO Harris Bank. Get the official BMO Harris Blackhawks debit MasterCard at bmoharris.com slash fan card. Ford. Check out America's freshest lineup at your local Ford store or at localfordstores.com. Corona Extra, who invites you to find your beach. And by Kia. Visit mykiachicago.com to learn why Kia is one of the fastest growing car brands in America. Well, Blackhawk fans, remember to bring your Blue Cross and Blue Shield card to all Blackhawk home games for a chance to be part of the Blue Cross upgrade experience. Carry the card that gives you benefits wherever you are. Blue Cross, through it all. Welcome back to Glendale, Arizona. This was what, it was probably about, what, 65 degrees today, partner? That, does that uh, sound right? It was pretty nice. Yeah, it yeah. was nice. Well, we'll bring some of that weather home. <laughs> and hopefully another two points for the Hawks as they lead the Phoenix Coyotes 3 nothing to get ready for the second period. Not a lot of work for Auntie Ranta. Seven shots on goal. A couple missed opportunities for the Phoenix Coyotes, but... Our GMC professional grade save will show a terrific stop off of Radim Pervada. Right there. Isn't able to elevate the puck. Does not throw those hands up towards the crossbar. Great stop for Antti Ranta. And a lot of one and done in that first period for the Phoenix Coyotes. And I think the Blackhawk forwards and defenseman Pat really did a good job of not allowing second and third chance opportunities. Pat, I got a chance to watch the game last night while I was on assignment and then get ready to travel here. Hawks just looked a step slow last night for a lot of that game, and I think the trip kind of hit them last night right between the eyes. The energy wasn't there. They were off. They spent a lot of time in their own zone. But as Nicholas Jalmerson told me, I mean, he's kind of surprised at how well that they played in that first period yeah. considering, you know, everything that's that's gone on with this team, you know, during this trip. Well, but it also, at least the first 20 minutes tonight, reflects what we all know and you talk about it all the time. If you don't have goaltending in this league, you're not going to beat anybody. And a couple of softies on Mike Smith, I think it's fair to say. Well, in the second period of Blackhawk Hockey is brought to you by Chevy at ChevyDriveChicago.com. Right, sharp work on the boards in for Taves. And Jones will have to turn back. By the way, as they usually are. That was a great interview you did with Nick Jalmerson, and I really <laughs> enjoyed it at the end when he said, yeah, Johnny O'Dea and I, that's a heck of a pair. And if we want to say something not so nice about a forward, we can <laughs> say it in Swedish. <laughs> Better be getting an interpreter on that bench. <laughs> that might be uh, the less you know, the better. Here's a don't looking to keep it in. Moss rolled it back, Slemko across, Morris along Rister, never got through. And Morris will try again, tip! Oh, good stop and a redirect. Morris able to keep it in, nope, not quite. That's going to be offside if it's touched, and that does happen. So the whistle sounds. Derek Morrison is the 500th Phoenix Coyotes game tonight. He's gone over a thousand NHL games in a long and very solid career, but 500 of them have been spent uh, with this franchise. It's a real hard-nosed player, Pat. Still real strong on his skates. Can still drift the puck. I mean, people ask me who really shoots the puck. One of those heavy, hard shots in the National Hockey League. Derek Morris comes to mind right away because he can really drift it. 
Here's a long shot, and a good save by Ronto. That shot appeared to redirect. Connor Murphy let go a long one, and I'm quite sure somebody got a piece of that, so a terrific stop by the 24-year-old. Well, a simple shot from the point. Blackhawks with low coverage. Quick shot. And then the redirect right in front of the net pad. That's exactly it. It might have been Clink Hammer there with the redirect. Former Blackhawk product. Patrick Kane dropped it to Seabrook. And Duncan Keith already got two assists in this game. He now has 23 for the year. And entering play tonight, 25 led the lead. He's tied for third right now. Not knowing what some of those other guys have done, Pat, to your point. Just an outstanding season all the way around for Duncan Keith. A keep here by Yandel. Tried to center, didn't connect with Klinkhammer. Rob Klinkhammer off the boards. He dropped it and a takeaway by Keith to Saad. Bearing it ahead to Kane. Patrick Kane looking to buy a little time. Hawks were changing. Uh, coming off the bench was Rastig. He was stripped of it by Klinkham. Got to be out of gas. Well, they get to the corner and Versteeg there. Ahead to Shaw. Shaw to Rosenthal. Back to Shaw with a shot and a save by Smith. Way down to Halpern. And the Coyotes start away. Kyle Chipchura with a ring around. Chipchura down low. Lost it to Peary. It's held in by Schlemko. Oops, no, well, that went out of the zone. Here's a long shot. That uh, hit a leg out in front of the net. And Bristi works back to center. Well, the Coyotes missing it. He's short of center when he chipped that in. Icing whistled here. Well, the Hawks have announced the release of 17 seconds, an hour-long movie chronicling the dramatic Game 6 finish and summer-long celebration of the Stanley Cup. Get an all-access pass inside the locker room in Boston, ride along on the parade buses, and relive the magic of the banner raising. For complete details and additional screening info, visit ChicagoBlackhawks.com forward slash 17 seconds. That's where you don't get a penalty partner. Forward slash. Forward slash. Yeah, okay. Don't get one for that one. You get rewarded. Yeah, you get a video out of it. Here's Sharp with the drive right on. Mike Smith able to soak it up with no rebound. Patrick Sharp with seven goals in his last 12 games, including one last night. A turnover in the middle of the ice. Good positioning there by the Hawks. Taves, Holson, and there's Sharpie. We get a lot on that. Good job there from Mike Smith absorbing it. Not giving up a second chance opportunity. Out of the Taves, two goals, three assists in the first six games of this road trip. This draw bounced towards Sharp. But Verbata able to get control. And the Coyotes' Hansel moved it to Verbata. Look at all that pressure. Three white sweaters encircling him at center, but it's carried on Kennedy to the forehand. A shot. Good save by Ronta. And he's able to get the glove on a bouncing puck. Oh, what confidence there by Monty Ronta. Yeah, you were making a point, and it's a great point in the middle of the ice. There was nothing going on because you had all white, and all of a sudden, here comes Kennedy. Boy, he does a really good job there, sliding that puck in between the stick right here of Johnny Oduya and getting that puck on the forehand. And a confident save from Monty Ronta. One of the many graduates in the National Hockey League, Pat Tim Kennedy, played in the USHL. For the Sioux City Musketeers. Now the Coyotes. A pass that's deflected by a Bolig stick. And Bolig gets it deep. Yandel nearly turned it over, but managed to clear the zone. Ribeiro. Bolig took a run at Yandel there after he made the pass. That defense with something to think about next time he's on the ice. Well, that line changes him up, and here come the Coyotes. A shot is handled by Ranta, and he's able to hang on to it. 
Wick, the type of pace that the Coyotes would want to play the Blackhawks is exactly this, Pat. Not trading chances. The Hawks not dictating pace. And for Dave Tippett and his team is to be good in his own zone and then take advantage from the red line in. Probably much more to the pace and the liking of the Coyotes so far here in this second period. Vodka out of the corner. Jacked by Letty. Now four men battle for it. It's dropped back. Here's a long shot. Cut goes soaked up again. Auntie Ronta, I mean, there have been a couple of loose pucks around him, but not very many. He's been able to control most of the attempts against him. Yeah, he's seeing a pat most importantly and understanding where the offensive players are coming from the Phoenix Coyotes and where they are on the ice. And if he does have to kick a rebound, you kick it out of traffic. A lot of them he's seeing, and that's a good job by the Blackhawk defenders. And also, too, the, the Coyotes have stepped slow in the offensive zone, and the Hawks will take that. Twice in this period, Michael Hanjus is at a defensive zone draw against Vermette, who's their best faceoff guy, and Hanjus has won both of them. Now Vermet turned it over to Kane, but then got it back. And Zeus took him down at center. And the Coyotes send it in. Flink hammer taken away by Hanzus. And the Coyotes get control of it. Ekman Larson going back door. The pass bounce up into the air before reaching him. Ekman Larson to Chipchura. Now Ribeiro's in behind. Mike Ribeiro back to Oliver Ekman Larson. Across Stone. He's got a good shot. Bank it to the front of the net. Michael Stone didn't have a shooting lane. That was an intentionally shot wide puck that bounced right back to the front of the net. And the Coyotes are on the board. Great pickup partner. Again, the shot off the boards. And then watch Antti Ranta. He loses his net just enough, Pat, not recognizing that this is a shot pass. Ranta's out on top of the crease. He's down. And then Clink Hammer has nothing but net to put the puck into. Heads up play there by Stone. And the Coyotes on the board. Yeah, Rob Klinkheimer didn't have a goal in his last 15 games, but able to tap that one home, and Phoenix on the board. Here's Hosa with a steal. He drives it in. Hosa to the forehand. Big save, Smith. Rebound back to Taves. He had it jump loose. And Bravada comes away. Now Hosa. Put on the stick of Taze. Down to the Taze. Got checked along the boards, but he held the puck. Now drives in. Set it sharp. Oh, and a good stick for Bada. He might have just saved the goal tip of that pass as it got to Sharp. And Kennedy could only get as far as center. Ekman Larson. Here's it back into Chicago territory to be played by Keith. Cougar ahead for Smith. Put it into Bolick. His shot blocked. Bolick drives in. Shoots again. Good save. Might have a goal post as well. A point blank chance for Bolick. Didn't miss going in by much. Brandon Bullock scored his first professional goal, Pat, in the NHL in the playoffs a couple of years ago. Yandel's hot pass home would have had an open net, Moss. And clearly the Yodi, the Coyotes have gone to school, as you always talk about it. They know Auntie Ranta comes out of his net. Here's a loose puck in front. Ranta made a point blank save on Moss. Rebound to Doan. And no stick for Ranta. It's in behind the net. Moss is... Unable to maintain control, and the Blackhawks get out. Seabrook dumped it in. Ronson now goes to get his stick in behind. And Bodker able to jam the puck loose. Here's Yandel putting it in. And that's really an offside play. 
So the Coyotes able to dent the net almost six minutes into period two. They trail the Hawks by a pair. Welcome back to Glendale, Arizona from our Xfinity Telestrator. There's Jonathan Taves going to pass this puck to Patrick Sharp. I thought that Jonathan Taves was being too nice here, Pat. I think that he could have walked this puck and taken a shot and anticipate right there. But he just, he, I don't think he ever looked at the net. I think he saw Sharpie the whole time and said, you know what, I'm going to pass him the puck and you pick it up. What a play by Verbata. Back door, wide open net there. There's Johnny. I mean, he's looked, he never really looked. Now, in fairness to him on that look, looked like the puck was on edge a little bit, but sometimes Pat is a guy that enjoyed scoring goals. When that puck went on edge, I enjoyed that because I didn't know where it was going and certainly <laughs> the goaltender did not know where it was going. Blake Cameron put it. Oh, he just missed Bacca for the pass. That could have been a good chance that the Coyotes missed on. Osa's hustling here to save icing. Second time he's done that tonight, and uh, now the Coyotes get out. They got a three on two. Bodker put it in. Here's Clay Hammer. Good stick by Rosenbaum in the slot. Held in by Stone. He can bring it. Mike Stone put it into the corner. Then it's out to Schlemko, whose shot was blocked by Hosa. Rebound. And a save made by Runta. Stone, you mentioned that he can really shoot it, and He's actually got two goals in three career games against the Hawks. Chip Chura's pass found nobody home, and Letty, it's help from Rosovov. Now Bolick broke his stick on a shot attempt. Coyotes start back. Chip Chura put it across. Rivero makes a look. He finds Ekman Larson, a long shot off the leg of Seabrook. It didn't miss the net by a whole lot. Ackman Larson again. His shot this time blocked Kruger. And Seabrook, in the first period, the Hawks were credited with six hits as a team. Brent Seabrook had four of them. Well, the uh, Coyotes send it in. Jalmerson banks it ahead. A perfect pass finds Kane. Patrick Kane in on Yandel is able to play him nicely one on one. Taken by Jalmerson. Nicholas Jalmerson bounced it towards Kane. Kane working well, got it to Hanzus. Now taken by Saad. Slipped it. Oh, we just missed Kane. Nice idea. Here's Oduya. Bounce it back to this side. Taken by Saad. Great shift here for the Hanzus line. Kane's got it. Hanging on nicely. Put it across to Oduya, looking for a lane. Here it comes, and a save by Smith. That's some tired Coyotes on the ice right now. Now Saad is down low, trying to slip it in front, picked off Yandel, but it held it. It's held in by Letty. Again, it's Kane. Rosaval wanted Kane to pass a little out of his reach. And the Coyotes, Kennedy needs help. And it does finally escape the Phoenix zone. They've been able to change a couple, not all of them, and back come the Hawks. Here's Shaw. Andrew Shaw. That is taken away. Here comes Hansel. Works a give and go, but Rosaval prevented a shot attempt. Martin Hansel set up a quick shot. Good save by Runta. That was a nice one-timer from Moss. Now it's held in. Morris rolled it in front of shot. Oh, what a save by Runta. He was sliding to his right, kicked out the left pad. And a huge battle out in front of the net. And uh, Oduya and Hansel seem to be going back and forth. And uh, it looks as if the Hawks are going to be short-handed when we come back. Eight and a half to go in the second. 3-1 Chicago. Well, a couple of good opportunities for the Phoenix Coyotes. They're going to get an opportunity on the power play, but Shane Doan, Pat, a couple of real good opportunities. This last shift, great stop there from Antti Ranta. And this last one, double deflection off the stick of Doan, and then off the broken stick of Brandon Beery finds his way to Antti Ranta. Not that time. And Johnny O'Dui in a box power play for the Coyotes. Their first of the game. Ekman Larson. Shoot over. Rivero takes a look. 
Ekman Larson to Yandel. Ekman Larson couldn't find a lane. Good play by Kruger to be right where he wanted to go with it. Now Ekman Larson again tries a long shot, missing the net. Partially it was wide because uh, Kruger was right in his kitchen again. And the Hawks able to get this out. The Phoenix power play has scored five goals their last six games. This dump in picked up by Keith. His clearing attempt bounced towards Taves, who works hard to get it back into the Coyote zone. Doan starting back, wants Ekman Larson. Good read there by Nick Jalmerson in the middle of the ice. Finally, Yandel will carry it in. Rivero to Vermette, dropping it, Ekman Larson. Now Rivero. Ekman Larson to Yandel. Rink wide, Rivero was not in his wheelhouse. Doan is right near the top of the crease. Here's a long shot and a save run to rebound loose. Packed away to the boards and out by Jalmerson. And down to half a minute remaining on the Coyote man advantage. Mikel Bodker. Well, it's cleared across, but Keith is right there. But this one doesn't get out. Roosevelt tries this side. It'll go down the length. Smith tried to make a long pass. Verbata's got it to Hansel. Seabrook able to jam up that return pass. Hey, clears it back the other way. And a very solid PK turned in by the Blackhawks. It all started, Pat. You picked it up right away. The great job by Marcus Kruger. Of getting in the shooting lane initially when the Coyotes won the faceoff and had something going. Now Jalmerson made sure to get that out. It's taken by Chipchura, rolled it to Halpern who walks in, got a man down, and still could not get away from Tate. In behind Moss. Now Chip Chura rolled it back. Yandel's long shot. Good save in traffic. And again, Rotten lost his stick, which is still on the ice. They, they got it in deep. And Moss could not pry it loose. Then Sharp did penalty coming up. It took a while for the referee to react. Kyle Chip Chura's stick was whacked out of his hands. That's the penalty. And Jalmerson is going to head off. The Coyotes back to the power play, trailing by two when we come back. Well, become a Blackhawks fan ambassador, driven by ChevyDriveChicago.com, and win exclusive prizes by sharing Blackhawks news and info on your social networks. Visit ChicagoBlackhawks.com today. What is your tea time tomorrow, Pat yeah. Foley? <laughs> if only we were staying, believe me, I'd have one. <laughs> well, Nicholas Jomerson teeing off on the stick of Kyle Chipchura. And there you see the reaction palms up at the attention of the official. Hey, there are four minutes up on the board. I uh, have not gotten the announcement. Well, we got an unsportsmanlike against Jalmerson, who yapped after getting tagged. So a major opportunity here for the Coyotes. Obviously, the referee knows Swedish. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Ryan Yandel to Ribeiro. Across for Ekman Larson. Now they get things organized. Doan near the front of the net. Ekman Larson to Yandel. Ribeiro now. Ekman Larson's one timer missed the mark. Held in by Ribeiro. Back to Yandel. Ekman Larson. A rink wide deflecting. Good stick there by Kruger. But the Coyotes able to keep it in. Now a steal by Seabrook. He got it the length of so the Hawks. Hope to be able to change, but Mike Smith kept a couple guys on there. Now they are able to change it up. The Hawks wanted to go get all four off. They saw Smith with full possession. He's a great passer. They hesitated, but did manage to change. Here's Yandel. Put it down low, Ribeiro. 
Bounced it back to Keith Yandel. Verbata takes a look. Nadine Verbata. Yandel's one timer way wide. And Ekman Larson held it in. Roberto Verbata tipping the score. Nice pass for Verbata to Hansel. And the Coyotes cash in on a power play to draw within one. Little backdoor play there for Martin Hansel, who has his eighth of the year. As Coach Q looks on, so the Coyotes will still have a power play a full two minutes because they scored in the first part of that two minutes, Pat. Backdoor, Verbata finds Hansel, stick on the ice, and he beats Johnny Oduya back to the front of the net. That's the key, Pat. Oduya sticks up in the air trying to hook. Martin Hansel, his stick was not on the ice, and Hansel, a strong man standing in front of the net. So now, Pat, it's a 3-2 game, and that extra penalty to Hammer, he would be out of the penalty box now for the initial. So the teaching point is for all you young hockey players out there, you get a penalty, keep your mouth shut, go right to the penalty box. Vodker fights through a Seabrook hit. Hold it over to Verbata. Ekman Larson to Schlemko. Tees up a long shot. Save, Rots a rebound. Shot right through the blue paint by Hansel. Now Stone. Schlemko takes a look. Stone. Put it to Verbata. Sends it down low. Hansel trying to stop it off. Down low. Ranta able to smother it. Good job there by Brent Seabrook to make sure that Martin Hansel has to pay a price in front of the net. The Coyotes moving that puck around. Good job there by Antti Ranta fighting it off with Hansel taking that puck to the net. the draw. Vermette able to pull that back into the corner goes Doan. Hacked it loose. Vermette. Juan Vermette taken down. Penalty Oduya. So now a two-man advantage for 66 seconds for the home team. A tough night for Johnny Oduya tonight, Pat. Got beat on a couple plays back in the first period. Takes a reach-in penalty there. Got beat to the front of the net on the last goal by Martin Hansel. So a five on three for a buck six for the Coyotes. Well, the Blackhawks got a two-man advantage just a minute into the game. And made good on it now. The Coyotes a chance to Turn the tables. 66 seconds of a two-man advantage. All right, now they get ready. Missouri was having a tough time getting them lined up. Now they put it in play. Taken by Verbata to Ekman Larson. Hansel to the front of the net. He's a large human. Here's Verbata. Moving in with a shot. Good save. Puck drops a rebound. Shot wide by Doan. Had a pretty good rebound chance but missed the net. Now a steal by Keith. He couldn't get it beyond Ribeiro. In front, Verbata to Doan. Trying to center it. Came all the way through and... Now Ribeiro's got it. Ribeiro. The Verbata to Ekman Larson. He'll look to Doan. Here's the one-timer. Good block, Seabrook. And it's out of play with 25 left in the two-man advantage. Walking to the middle of the ice, trying to get the Blackhawks to move out. Oh, they're moving, trying. Well, Brent Seabrook thought that stuff, the puck was in his gear pad and ended up getting in behind, dropping out of the nest and in behind Antti Ranta. Coyotes get the draw. Ekman Larson gets set up again. Verbata put it to Doan. He tried to center it, but did not connect with Ribeiro. Hansel's in behind to Doan. 
Shane Doan to Redeem Rabada. Moves in. Now Ribeiro takes a look. His pass deflected. The first Hawks penalty is over. Ribeiro the shot. Tip. They got it to the line. Not in. Seabrook kept it from crossing the line. Here's Keith. No, it loose to Chalmers, and he cleared it. And a penalty out in front of the net. Hansel was involved. I, maybe it was a little bit with Ronza, but uh, Seabrook also there. And now the Coyotes will take a penalty. Just a terrible penalty by Martin Hansel, Pat. He's in front of the net. Great play by Seabrook. And Seabrook gives him a cross check, Pat. Watch right here. He saves it, and then the quick cross check in front of the net right there. But watch Hansel in front. He cross checks Seabrook right in the arm, right in front of the official. Talk about uh, Jalmerson's penalty being bad, Pat. That's even worse because you're on a power play. You have all the momentum in a hockey game. And Martin Hansel, who almost had his second goal of the game, takes a bad penalty. So four skaters aside for the next 42. And the Hawks can get a man advantage. Here's the draw. Osa works his way into the zone. Osa trying to get it to Versteeg, but couldn't get it through Morris. Now David Slemko starts the Coyotes back. Bodker will get the line. Bodker checked by Letty. Vermette. Taken away by Chalmerson. And now the Hawks, Letty gets control. The Chicago penalty over. The Hawks on a power play for the remainder of this period, unless they should score one. Moss trying to fight his way in front. Couldn't get rid of a shot. And Tave comes away. Jonathan Taves missing Kane with a pass. Forty seconds for the period. Now the Hawks able to send it in. Smith wants to clear it himself, and he can do it. Dive there by Clean Cameras. Duncan Keith got a piece of clean camera and he went falling all over the ice at the red line. Keith tried to catch Smith leaving the net early, but shot it just wide. Now Taze works the corner. Won the puck. Here's Keith to the shoot it. And a save by Smith. And he hangs on. Well, an eventful finish to the second period. Well, Duncan Keith looking up at the Jumbotron there, Pat. Great pickup by our terrific director. Bulldog Dave Turner there seeing, showing Duncan Keith looking up at the Jumbotron, taking a look at that. Again, going to school. I think Duncan had lots of room upstairs, a little chin music, little ear music on Mike Smith because he takes away the bottom of the net as well as any goalie in the league. All right, they just need to put this puck in play, and as they do, the second period comes to an end. And the Hawks will take a one goal lead into the third. I just have to say one thing. I hope Blackhawk fans are aware of uh, what my partner has been through the last couple of days. On Thanksgiving Day, Eddie Olchek flew cross country to go to Boston to do a game for NBC yesterday. Now, the reasonable thing to do, maybe even the right thing to do, would be say, all right, I'll meet you at home, see you on Tuesday for the uh, game back in the United Center. What does he do? He gets on an airplane today, flies three time zones all the way out here to Phoenix to do one game, and then we're going to get on an airplane right after and fly back to Chicago tonight. We love you for lots of reasons. You teach us so much about the game. You love it so much. But we also got to love you because you're a gamer. And I don't want a response from you. I just want to say my compliments to the chef. And uh, we appreciate your extra efforts to bring Blackhawks hockey to the masses. At the end of 40 minutes, it is 3-2 Chicago. Blackhawks hockey on Comcast Sportsnet is brought to you in part by your Chicago area and Northwest Indiana Lexus dealer who invites you to test drive a Lexus today. Do you believe in the power of possibility? The Illinois Lottery. Anything's possible.
and by Toyota. Elevate your style with the 2014 Toyota Corolla. Toyota, let's go places. Well, Vienna Beef is proud to sponsor the Chicago Blackhawks Charities annual toy drive this holiday season. Blackhawk fans can donate unused and unwrapped toys at the Blackhawk games on December 6th, 8th, and 11th. For more information, visit ChicagoBlackhawks.com. Is he dead? Welcome back to Glendale, Arizona. The Hawks with a 3-2 lead as we get ready for the start of the third period. And finally, the end of this seven-game circus road trip. Yeah, no question. Oh, my kitchen just got his headset on for us. Thanks, kitchen. Near the end of a two-week trip, you had a 17-shot period against you. I'm just going to guess short shifts was one of the bullet points of this intermission. Well, yeah, <laughs> I think we're in a hurry to get home, so we all want to have short shifts. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, that was a messy period. We got into penalty trouble, and we got to stay out of the box. I mean, and we had our key, and the trouble was our key guys were the penalty killers. You know, you get Oduya in the box, you get Hammer, uh, Hammer in the box, and we, and we can't afford to do that. And we can't, And we're just allowing them to get uh, a little more man, momentum in the game. Kitch, a great start for your team in that first period. Take the goals out of it. What allowed you guys to be so good in that first period? I thought, I thought the pace of the first period, our game was really, really strong. And I think the penalties helped, too, because our power play had, had great possession time with the puck and great chances, which gave us momentum. And then in the second period, we lost it all because of the penalties that we took, too. So the power play on both teams have really given a lot of momentum. All right, well, uh, 20 minutes before you can go home and get in, get, okay. some, get some new underwear. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Get ready for the next road trip. Thanks yeah, a lot, guys. Okay. Thanks, Thanks, kids. kids. <laughs> Just a couple seconds left on a Hansel penalty as we get underway in the third. And now Taves kicked it back into the Phoenix zone. Stone. Pressured by Tave, the uh, penalties all have expired out. Both teams are back at full strength. And the third period of Blackout Hockey is brought to you by Toyota. Let's go places. All right, Taves gets into Sharp, tees it up, lets it go. Smith gave a rebound. Hosa, oh, what a second save on Marion Hosa by Mike Smith. And now Ekman Larson able to win a corner battle and get it out. That, that all started because of a quick transition through the middle of the ice. Duncan Keith with a perfect pass up to Jonathan Taves and in a three on two. Two quality chances there. And Mike Smith has settled in. Complete opposite of what he looked like in the first period where he was just fighting everything the Hawks threw at him. Now the Coyotes, Rivero. Knocked away to Kruger. He's able to find Oduya. Johnny Oduya with a long wrist shot. Kicked away by Smith. Gave a rebound. Bowling took a whack but couldn't connect with the loose puck. And domed the other way. Seabrook takes it back. Now Saad. In for Hanzus. Try to center it. Kane to the goal. He shoots. Oh, oh. driven into the net. Patrick Kane hit hard from behind by Connor Murphy. And fortunately, he looks as if he'll be uninjured, but that was a dangerous check. Driving Kane right into the goal post and crossbar. Oh, what a great pass by Michael Hanzus first off pass, but the reception was even better by Patrick Kane. Takes his puck hard in the net and then Murphy just drives him right into Mike Smith and then into the post. And a roughing call on Murphy. Good to see Patrick Kane ready to go on this power play. Kane with a goal and an assist. In the first period tonight, now has 30 points for the year. Up near the top five in the lead. The matter at hand is 
A power play opportunity and a chance for a little breathing room here. With all sorts of clock still remaining. And a face-off win for Matt. Now Kane for Sharp. Trying to center one, Taze at a bad angle, put it back to Shaw. And the Hawks will get things set up. Here's a long shot by Keith, not getting through, bouncing puck. Taves got it toward the net, and Smith able to get the glove there. Taves did well while being checked to advance that puck while it was in midair. A couple of different looks for this power play unit, Pat. Patrick King, usually we see over those right wing boards being a left handed shot. Here's on his normal side. And his puck got knocked down by David Moss in front of the net, and it's a great effort there from Jonathan Taves to track down that puck. Fight off the one-on-one -on -one battle and get that puck towards Mike Smith. It was really settled in here, Pat. He's tracking the puck yeah. way differently now. Oh, he didn't have a lot of work in that second period. The complete opposite here in the start of the third period. Really looks confident in goal. So we'll have another draw in the Phoenix zone. Well, according to every report we've got, the United Center is still open, man. <laughs> Thankfully, the Hawks will play a game there. I knew it would happen eventually. It'll be Tuesday night. The Dallas Stars will be in town for a, a 7 o'clock puck drop. It's going to smell so good. To oh, get back to the it'll look good. It's going to smell good. Got to get some of that soft serve ice cream at the United States. It's going to be fresh now. Just waiting for us. <laughs> or me, I should say. Yeah, <laughs> Got a good keep, Seabrook. Got it to Hosa. Down low side. Looks for Hosa, but missed him. Seabrook managed to keep it in there. Hosa grabbed by Schlemko. It's around for Letty. 45 for the power play. Seabrook along glass, and Smith had a good look at that. No Hawks near the front of the net that time. Here's Versteeg. Put it to Seabrook. He'll shoot it and miss the target. Held in by, oh no, it took a funny hop. Wound up going out of play. Same as Puck went off a Coyote defender, and faceoff will stay inside the zone, and now the referees and linesmen are huddling up. I didn't think it hit anybody, Pat. I thought it just hit the dasher. That's what and, it looked and, like to me. Yeah, yeah, it just went right by. And Brent Seabrook with two good looks there, Pat, on that uh, on that second power play unit for the Hawks. One time you pointed out, nobody in front of the net. And then that second time there was somebody there. Unfortunately, did not hit the net. Now Sharp had it knocked away by Vermette. And 20 seconds for the man advantage. Kane's got it and rings it around. Sharp sandwiched on the boards. The Coyotes able to win the puck. Down it goes. That finishes the Chicago power play. Both teams are at full strength. Here's Taze getting the line. Every shot. Oh, and a toe save made by Smith. Rebound Hansel. Moves it across to Morris. Well, the Coyotes get it in. Kennedy driving, shooting, and a save run to. Rebound in behind, and now Verbata came up with it. Uh, Dean Verbata spins it in deep for Hansel. Martin Hansel, rep run, run to stopped it. Rebound, bounce back to the corner. Hansel after it there. Now Oduya able to shield it nicely and made a good play to Kane. Made sure to get it out. Hawks in need of a change. And here's Morris for Phoenix. Pass didn't connect. Now the Coyotes, Ribeiro. 
And to drop it back, here's Morris. And to just flip it back into Chicago ice. Seabrook cleared it to the boards for Ben Smith. He put it to Keith. Back for Smith. Gains the line. Had a shot block. Now Smith trying to pry it off the boards. And at the last moment, good stick from Yandel to prevent a stop attempt. Two good plays by Yandel on Smith. Here's Shaw putting it. Just missed bowling. It goes to Keith on the long shot. That's off a skate to Ribeiro. And now Chip Chura. But a back check by Shaw. Picked off a pass. And the Hawks will complete a change. Six minutes gone by in period three. Hawks have done a much better job here, Pat, the last three, four minutes in the middle of the ice. Here come the Coyotes, and a shot is blocked. Kane starts back. Patrick Kane gets on, trying to split that. He put it to side. The shot. Good save by Smith after a sweet rush by Patrick Kane. Set up a wrister for Brandon Saad. It is still early in period three. Three to two in favor of the Hawks. Well, time now for a KFC fan cam. That's right, Hoss is the boss. <laughs> I don't think you need that here, that hat here, young lady. Maybe when you get back home to Chi-Town. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, well, thanks for the mention. <laughs> Hold on, I, I had to get those cheaters on yeah, to right. say that, right? <laughs> All right, now here's Peary winning a draw for Stieg. Shot it but missed the target. And Kennedy able to get it out. Morris for Verbata. Another good job here, Pat, in the middle of the ice by the Hawks. Golden here, just outstanding. A steal to Peary, trying to center. Shaw well covered. And now a good keep on a Jalmerson poke check. And the, the Coyotes will get it out of their own end, but not by much. Hansel stripped away by Peary. And that's an offside play. Pat, just an outstanding job by the Hawks here in the last four minutes. I mean, they are doing an outstanding job in the middle of the ice, just working in tandem. Our Xfinity Telestrator, look at this area here. I mean, this is the way you do it. Protect the middle of the ice. Good sticks, jumping the loose pucks, pressure. Coyotes just cannot get out of their zone and cannot come through the middle of the ice that clean, but just great support, understanding where the outlets are for the puck carrier. And the Hawks right now have really found their game in the middle of the ice. That's so important. All right now, Hanzus, a long pass finding Kane. Patrick Kane. Gonna wait for a little help, put it in deep. And Saad got it to Hanzus. Hanzus looks for Saad that went off a skate. And now Hanzus. Working the boards, finally take it away, but give it away to Saad. Brandon Saad cuts in. T didn't get a lot on the shot as he was checked. Here's Kane. His pass bounced out of the zone. Now the Coyotes look to move from their own end. Long pass missing Ribeiro. Icing to be called. Well, tomorrow, don't miss Bears pregame live on Comcast Sportsnet. Get the most comprehensive Bears game day coverage. From a Chicago perspective, Chris Bowden, Jiggs, and Jim Miller. Start your football Sunday off with Bears pregame live tomorrow at 11, only on Comcast Sportsnet. All right, now Taze threw it in behind. Comes around to Moss. Now clear to center ice. Ribeiro put it across to the other side. 
Coyote's unable to get it deep. Roosevelt the other way. Michael Roosevelt set it. Oh, Taves just barely missed it. Now he's got it in behind. Taves checked by Morris. For Matt turned it over. Here's Sharp right to the front. Oh, just seems ready to shoot. He lost it. Good stick from Slumco, it looked like. And back come the Coyote. Bodger buys time. Threw it into the corner. Clinkhammer. His pass deflected. And now the Hawks throws the ball. A little bit ahead to Tay. Here come the Coyotes. Yandel carries. Keith Yandel penetrates the zone, but Bola got in his way. And Smith comes out. Mike Smith out to play it loose. Murphy battling with Kruger in the corner. Coyotes get control of it. And now they get it in, but that's thrilled to be an offside play. Well, right now, the Coyotes do not have an answer for knifing through the middle of the ice. Hawks are weren't working in tandem. I think any time a team is so good in the middle of the ice, you got to get them going one way and then come back and enter back the other side. Come back deeper with some speed and get the defense going one way and then come up the other side. But the Hawks right now are just anticipating everything the Coyotes are doing coming out of their zone. And and they haven't had the puck down in the Blackhawks zone here, Pat, for you know, maybe 15, 20 seconds here in the last five, six minutes. The puck deflecting uh, out of play, they rule, near the Blackhawks bench and came back onto the ice. So far here in this third period, Eddie, to your point, two shots on goal for the Phoenix Coyotes, who had 17 shots in the middle frame, so looks doing a marvelous job of trying to keep the heat off their young goalie, who now has to steer that to the corner. And Kane got it across to center. Yandel fires a long pass. It missed Hansel. Icing will be the result. The Blackhawks, who has so many circumstances that really should not have been in their favor tonight, had a huge start to the opening period and have gotten it within 10 minutes of, I mean, it's, no matter what happens tonight, it's been a good, if not great, road trip. You get two points here, and you could put spectacular as the label on it. Kennedy chipped it in there for Phoenix. Seabrook turned it over Stone, but Versti got to him. And a good play by Peary. And Versti taken away by Stone. Back goes Keith. Ben Smith shields it nicely. Good play to Kruger and the Hawks get it out. Now Ekman Larson looks for Doan. That puck taken away. And now Ben Smith into the Phoenix end. Watch Kruger bounce the ball and he scores! Landed bowling! A pass that was intended for Kruger eventually found bowling and he snapped a high hard shot it's 4-2 Chicago Pat what a fortunate bounce this is Oliver Ekman Larson when Ben Smith makes his pass it goes off the skate and goes right to Brandon Bullock right there as Marcus Kruger's going hard to the net, and Brandon Bullock, as we mentioned, Pat, first National Hockey League goal came in the playoffs a couple of years ago. Same type of shot, same stick side, elevation, and that's a huge goal.
for the fourth line and a little bit of breathing room. All right, here comes Bolick moving in again. He'll tie again. That one's blocked. Now Yandel to get it out of there. Rosaval to Letty. And the Hawks get it in. And Morris was braced for contact from Taves. Now here's Hosa in front. Oh, and he just missed the far post. Taves back in the play after getting jolted. Gave it a Hosa. A good lift of the stick by Taves. He tanned it to Sharp. And now it's taken by Jalmerson. Sharp launched Taves and missed him. Then Hosa with a shot. It's blocked by Smith. And the uh, Coyotes clear it back the other way. Icing coming up. Hawks have found a second win here. Not only offensively, Pat, the way they came out and started this period, but again, I can't emphasize enough how good they've been without the puck in this third period. And it's just stymied the Coyotes. I mean, absolutely nothing going on. And maybe you can hear in the background the Chicago faithful with a let's go Blackhawks cheer. Here's Kane out in front. Pope checked. It goes to Oduya. Side. We'll leave it for Kane. Oduya with a shot from a tough angle that was stopped. Again, Kane finds Jalmerson. His long blast. It hit the goal post. He beats Smith to the stick side. Jalmerson barely failed to get his second goal of the game. Here's Saad walking in front, fakes, trying to squeeze through traffic, could not, as it turned out. Yeah, just one too many moves there for Brandon Saad. Great patience with the puck, though. <laughs> now wholesale changes are completed both ways, and Hawks. Get it deep. Verbata tapped it out. Oh, it's coming right back in there. Another fourth line shift here, of which there have been plenty here, particularly in the third period. And of course, they just scored a moment ago, so Coach Q throws them right back out. Kennedy to Verbata. Slipped it loose. Here's Kennedy, and he shot it up high. Donovan Taves gets the line. Taves looks to slip it in front of shot. Goal post again. Patrick Sharp blew it by Smith. Hawks have hit the post twice in the last three shifts. Here's Jalmerson. Too sharp to Hosa. His shot smothered. And now the team that you would figure should be exhausted, Eddie, they're toying with the Phoenix Coyotes. A lot of confidence right now. Here's Sharp, his shot. Smith made the save. Rebound loose, Sharp will lock, and a save by Smith. And he's able to hang on to it. At the end of a two-week road trip with back-to-back -back games, the Blackhawks skating circles around the Yotes here in period three. Time now for our Kia drive to the net and fortunate bounce there from Ben Smith over to Brandon Bowling and what a reaction. Now that is a happy human right there. Perfect shot. Just like he did Pat in the playoffs a couple of years ago, his first NHL goal in the playoffs. Similar shot blocker side on Mike Smith. That's one thing Brandon Bowling can do. He can really drift it. And he has time and space out there. And as long as he brings that physical element pad and plays that hard-nosed type of game, like I mentioned earlier, and he took a run at Keith Yandel early in the game, and that's the type of stuff Brandon Bolick needs to have in his game because the Blackhawks don't have a lot of that big size right now, especially with no Brian Bickle in the lineup. Brandon Bolick knows 
He needs to know what his role is. And when you can chip in offensively, be out there at the end of the game like that line was, Pat, make yeah. over every other shift for three and a half minutes. But again, when you got a chance to put somebody in the third row, send a message, that's what he's got to do. And it's uh, it's great to see him chip in like that. And again, that line's playing with a lot of confidence and Joel certainly rewarded them. I think that puck came up, or maybe the follow through on the stick got Kane up high in the face. So they play on as Bodker is uh, taken down by his own man, Vermette. Now Bodker rolled a loose, a shot stopped by Runta, and the Hawks regain control. Saad, ooh, that's a trouble move. He tried to get through three and needed help to get that one out. by Roosevelt. And the Hawks clear it to center ice. Here's a takeaway by Taze. He gets in. Taze for Hosa just missed him. And Moss cleared it to Doan. He dropped it in front. Rivero for Doan. Tip on save Ronta on a chain. Doan redirect. And Hosa starts back. He'll uh, get off for a change though. How about Ante Ronto? There have been at least a couple or three uh, redirected shots that he's been able to stop at important times. Ben Smith, who on this road trip has a goal and two assists. And is now a plus three on the trip. Getting stuff like that from your fourth line, things ought to be going pretty well. And they certainly are. Here's Smith in on, oops, he forgot a little something. <laughs> and Yandel the other way. Kennedy to Yandel, quick shot, sticked away by Ronta. Now Handel, Kennedy. Carried on Bodker. That jumped away from Yandel, and Kane is hustling. Kane against Yandel. They were able to neutralize one another. Now Vermette got it out. Down to three minutes remaining in regulation time. Shaw with a big hit there on Klinkhammer. Give it the old Walter Payton pad where Shaw saw Klinkhammer coming, and he gave him the shoulder. Tenery Pat just missing Vermette. And Seabrook got it out of there. Andrew Shaw, who earlier in this game scored his fourth goal of the road trip. And continues to lead the Blackhawks in credited hits. Here's Hosa now. Doan took it back. Ooh, nearly turned it over, but Ribeiro gets out. Mike Ribeiro left it, and Chipchura dropped it back. Here's Slemko, a long shot, and a save by Ranta. Slemko knocked away by Hosa. The race is on. Saad might get a breakaway. Chipchura trying to catch him. Saad right in, and a save by Smith. That puck got about to the goal line, but Smith kept it from crossing. Back comes Ribeiro for Doan. Kicks to the six, shooting. A shot block out in front. Rebound, Chip Chura. Dropped it back. Yandel, there goes the goalie to that. Six attackers. A long shot goes wide. The uh, Coyotes have six out there. Here's Yandel's long one. That's blocked. Morris put it up the boards. Ribeiro, good stick along the wall by Ben Smith. He got it out. Down to 90 seconds remaining. The goal to our left is empty. Yandel fires along with it. Ranta steers away easily. And Hosa tried to clear. Second chance he did. And listen to the Let's Go Hawks chant from several thousand red sweatered Blackhawk fans in attendance. Hosa tied up, followed up by Keith. Got it ahead to Sharp. He's checked right away into the final minute now of regulation time. 
The takeaway by Sebra to Taze ahead for Hosa for the empty net. Huxman! Marion Hosa finishes it off with an empty net goal, and the Chicago Blackhawks are going to go 6-1 and one with six consecutive wins on the road, and in those six victories, a grand total of 10 goals against. Wow. Let's take a look at our Miller moment. Just turned in by that man to uh, finish off a most successful road trip. As it's Miller time, brought to you by Miller Light. Taves made, was short of center. He made sure to get it across the red line to Hosa. And thanks for coming. See you later. We're getting wins in all different fashions, Pat, and especially coming from behind as they did in three of their last four games going into the game tonight. So the Blackhawks, Eddie, and we talked, we talked a lot this year about production up and down the lineup. All four lines get a goal tonight. Huge. I mean, wow. Well, that's happening. Hard to get beat. Yeah, it takes pressure off too, Pat. It takes the pressure off the big guys. And they're always going to want to score, and they're always going to be disappointed when they don't. That's just the way that it is. And you can hear the let's go Hawks chant. We get down to 15 left. As the Hawks Shaw works in the corner, just trying to eat up the clock. Here's the shot, Plank Hammer. That stopped Ranta. And the Chicago Black. Oh, now at the end, Vermette goes down. Letty seemed to be in the neighborhood. And uh, there's going to be a late. Penalty given here, and it's Shaw that's going to go off. Yeah, right there, the stick of Andrew Shaw lifting up, trying to get the stick in the puck, and these are the type of ones, Pat, when back in the day, when players and teams would get bonuses for having good penalty killing. These are the type that you would take at the end of the game to help build the percentages. Just let you know. <laughs> Mr. Stat Freak. <laughs> well, Antti Ranta goes 2-0 and in a couple of starts in the second half of this road trip. The Chicago Blackhawks go six wins in a row after losing the first game of a seven-game swing. And they continue to add on to the second-best start they've ever had in their long history. This is their 20th win against just four and four. And the Phoenix Coyotes, who had lost only once in a dozen games at home, get spanked tonight 5-2 by the Chicago Blackhawks. There's our Lexus pursuing perfection player of the game. Antti Ranta made 31 saves to uh, pick up a second consecutive victory. He is our Lexus Pursuing Perfection player of the game. A spectacular road trip comes to an end tonight in Phoenix for our CSN crew and Freddie Olchek, Pat Foley, hoping you enjoyed the broadcast. We know you enjoyed the outcome. The Hawks 5, the Coyotes 2. Can't wait to see you at the UC on Tuesday night. Till then, so long, everyone. Pat and Steve are in the studios. Take it away, boys.